The Ghana Communication Technology University offers six programs. The undergraduate programs, master's programs, professional programs, accelerated certificate programs, access courses, and PhD programs. What are their admission requirements? If you're a WASI holder, you must have an aggregate of 36 or better. And if you're an SSSC certificate holder, then you must have an aggregate of 24 or better with credit passes in three core subjects, math, English, science or social studies, and three elective subjects that are related to the program you want to read. Credit passes here means A to C6 for WASI students, meaning D7 is not acceptable, and for SSSC students, it is A to D. The requirements for mature applicants is that you must be at least 25 years old at the time that you are applying, and you must have proof that is your birth set, and your birth set should be at least five years old, after which you take an access course in a related field. After the access course, you write exams, and if you are successful in the exams, you can now begin your studies. This video will look at all the courses offered at the Ghana Communication Technology University and their cutoff points, meaning if your grade is more than the cutoff points, you may not gain admission into the school. Now, without wasting time, let's dive into the video. We begin by looking at first their undergraduate programs. First, the Faculty of Engineering. BSc Computer Engineering, cutoff point 24. BSc Electrical and Electronic Engineering, 24 cutoff points. BSc Mathematics, 24 cutoff points. BSc Telecommunication Engineering, 24 cutoff points. Diploma in Telecommunications Engineering, 24 cutoff points. Next, the Faculty of Computing and Information Studies. BSc Information Technology, 36 cutoff points. BSc Computer Science, 36 cutoff points. BSc Cyber Security, 36 cutoff points. Diploma in Cyber Security, cutoff points, 36. BSc Data Science and Analytics, 36 cutoff points. Diploma in Multimedia Technology, 36 cutoff points. BSc Information Systems, 36 cutoff points. Diploma in Information Technology, 36 cutoff points. BSc Mobile Computing, 36 cutoff points. BSc Software Engineering, 36 cutoff points. Diploma in Web Application Development, 36 cutoff points. Diploma in Computer Science, 36 cutoff points. Diploma in Data Science and Analytics, 36. Next on our list is the Business School. BSc Accounting with Computing, 30 cutoff points. BSc Accounting Special Area, 30 cutoff points. Diploma in Accounting, 30 cutoff points. BSc Banking and Finance, 30 cutoff points. BSc Economics, cutoff points, 30. BSc Human Resource Management, Special Area, 30. BSc Management, Special Area, 30 cutoff points. Diploma in Management, cutoff point, 30. BSc Marketing, Special Area, 30 cutoff points. Diploma in Marketing, 30 cutoff points. BSc Procurement and Logistics, 30 cutoff points. Diploma in Public Relations, 30 cutoff points. Let's now turn our attention to all their master's programs. MPhil Computer Science, PhD Computer Science, MSc Internet of Things and Big Data, Engineering and Management, MBA Finance. MSc Information Technology for Management, MBA International Trade, MBA Logistics, MSc Business Decision Management, Engineering Project Management, MSc Management Information Systems, Oil and Gas Management, Supply Chain Management. MSc Computer Science MPhil Internet of Things and Big Data Next on our list is the Accelerated Certificate Programs A Plus Certification Certificate in Computer Network Security 
Certificate in Computer Networking Certificate in Network Administration Certificate in Website Design Certificate in Digital Video Editing General Business Certificate Exam Certificate in Graphic Design Production N Plus Certification Novdeck Classes Certificate in mobile phone repairs. Let's now look at all their access courses. Diploma in Electrical and Electronic Engineering. Mature Access Course. ABCE GBCE. Diploma in Procurement and Logistics, NAPTEX. If you'd like to see courses in their cut-off grades that are offered at all the public universities in Ghana, click on the next playlist. And as always, if this video was helpful to you, be sure to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video.